WhatsApp users, there is a security flaw in WhatsApp that I want to bring to your notice because scammers are actually taking advantage of this and making it impossible for people to regain back their WhatsApp, especially when they have tricked them to give them the one-time password code. Now, this might not be you, but people around you who are connected with you, family, friend, kids, words, can also be victim of this. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Make sure you understand because I'm going to show you what to do if someone takes over your WhatsApp and you're finding it difficult to gain access back. If you're ready, come with me. <laughs> Let's go explore this. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Debord, and I'm so excited to have you on this one. If you've watched our video before, welcome again. If you're new to your channel, you might want to consider clicking on that subscribe button right now and turn on the notification bell icon to get videos like this. Now, WhatsApp ban is on the rise. I made a video about that about two years ago. Many people are realizing right now. And so that's the reason why you have to take advantage of this particular video because many people will become victim of what I'm about to explain. Already, I did a video uh, last two weeks about this how scammers are tricking people to collect your one-time password unfortunately anybody that has your number can activate your whatsapp on another phone but it will require a one-time password sent to you as sms if they for any reason tell you oh there's a zoom meeting we need to activate you there is this password there's something you need to confirm that you are the owner we are sending you something if they give you all that bs and you give them your one-time activation code from whatsapp your WhatsApp is gone on another phone. How do you get it back? So in this video, I'm going to tell you the security flaw, but I'll give you a summary of my previous video, which you can actually see in the card if you want to see that one, where I went into details of all the tricks and how they do it and how you can get your WhatsApp back. And make sure you just subscribe because uh, February 10th, we're going to be having a premiere on this ways to go about securing your WhatsApp and how to get your WhatsApp back in case someone already takes over. If for any reason, your ward, your child, your spouse, your friend, give out their one-time password to some of these cameras by error and they activate the whatsapp on another phone you don't need to panic the first thing you need to do is to also click on verify on your device it will request that you get the activation code so if you get the activation code put it back you gain access back but the problem is some of these cameras know this so once they're able to log into your whatsapp they will start requesting for code and the more you request for code one time password whatsapp will increase the time before you can use the code again so in some cases it might be four hours five hours ten hours and between that time they have sent a lot of message to a lot of people who are unsuspecting and they will send money to them and they always have this you know their format oh i'm run out of uh, transaction limit can you help me send money to this send money to this person i'll pay you back please soon and all that send that money that money is gone but that's not even the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that WhatsApp has a security flaw. Now, WhatsApp requires you to get one-time password as an SMS on the phone before you activate WhatsApp. But WhatsApp does not require one-time password as SMS sent to the phone when you want to activate two-step verification. So what these scammers are doing right now is that they will, if they manage to take over someone's account, they will now activate two-step verification and also add their email address. So it becomes nearly impossible for you to get your WhatsApp back. But there is hope for you. So that's a flaw. So if WhatsApp allows you to get one-time password to activate your WhatsApp, there should also be one-time password to activate your two-step verification. Else, if anybody gets your WhatsApp access by mistake, they can take over your WhatsApp and put two-step verification that even when you get the one-time password from WhatsApp, you cannot log fully back into your account because uh, someone else has put in a two-step verification in your own WhatsApp up account and that is what happened to my body uh, and i helped him to get back his whatsapp and that is what i want to share with you because this is a security flaw i pray and wish that whatsapp if you're listening fix this thing don't let anybody put a two-step verification on a whatsapp without sending sms to the phone number of the owner of the number so that is important whatsapp so when you have now requested for WhatsApp to give you one-time activation code that you use to log back your WhatsApp in, and you'll be greeted with putting your two-step verification pin that you didn't set up, what do you do? Okay, so what you do is that you can click on a forgotten day pin, and the WhatsApp will give you option to send the pin to your email. 
and also reset pin so when you go to settings uh, security and then you give the option to reset your pin but here is the problem so if you're going to reset your pin whatsapp will lock the whatsapp account for seven days yes for seven days before the option of two-step verification will be removed and now you will now be given the option to request for activation code one time password we said to you and now you activate your whatsapp there is nothing that whatsapp can do about reducing that seven days there is nothing they wrote it clearly in their support message that there is nothing they can do apart from locking the app for seven days before they reset the pin and also send the one-time password of activation to the original owner and you'll be able to get back your account I don't know which one is the worst or the, the better evil here for a scammer to take over your account and be sending messages to people or, or for you to get your accounts to be locked for seven days and then lose all business and contacts. I don't know which one is the lesser evil, but there has to be a way to prevent this and a WhatsApp can really, really add that security to their platform. So, yes that's it let me hear from you in the comment section you have any problem issue getting back your whatsapp let me hear from you make sure you click on that like button share this video so that someone else will not fall victim and even if they fall victim they could get back the account quickly make sure you click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell icon to get videos like this when we are publish it and until i see you in the next one it is peace and love subscribe I see. Very cool.